All right, yeah. So if you're a begin, uh, if you're beginning your uh, journey, starting out your own welding business, or even if you've been running your own welding business for a while, you need to make a table kind of like this. Uh, you can make it better than mine. This is just kind of really crude, built with what I had uh, in the building, which I mean, it's a storage building. There's really not a whole lot in here. But I just made this table as cheaply as I could uh, with what I had. Um, and you know, it might not be super fancy. It might not be able to uh, compete with some of the stuff like April Wilkinson can build, but it works for what I need it for. Uh, and it is gonna save a lot of money. So what it is, right, is a table. There's a chop saw in the middle uh, and then there's a stop bar there. So all these round bars, uh, I'm cutting out, throwing in this bin. They all gotta be the same length, exactly the same length, give or take like a 16th of an inch or so. Uh, so they all gotta be like 18 inches. They're gonna be uh, the rungs for a ladder. We're building 14 ladders. So I got a trailer sitting out here. Uh, never mind the generator, I don't have power out here. But I got this trailer filled up with steel. Um, I got all the rung material here. And then all the flat bar sitting here is all gonna be uh, the upright pieces to these ladders. Um, so all these rungs are 18 inches, they fit. The flat bar, the table's not long enough, so I got to measure those. It's going to be kind of a pain. But all these, I measure once, and I cut. Well, I measure once, I set my bar, and then I ain't got to measure again the whole time I'm cutting uh, these round bars. So I'll show you how it works. If you're starting out your welding business, get a table like this, it's going to save you a lot of money. I know a lot of people that have been welding for a while, and they still ain't even got one of these things set up. They got to measure every single piece they cut or cut four at a time or something. Uh, but they're still measuring every time they cut. So I'll set this camera up somewhere. You can see, you know, it's pretty, pretty easy. All right, we're set up. Never mind this helmet. The only reason I have it is for these hearing things. Uh, I forgot my hearing protection at the house. So I brought the helmet out. We're gonna get set up here. You know, I'm just gonna double check this here. Uh, it is 18 inches, so we're good. Now I'm gonna cut this entire 12 foot length into 18 inch pieces. I don't have to measure it all.
So as you can see, I just cut up two full lengths of that 12 foot bar into 18 inch pieces. Uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, you get the idea. I got a whole lot more to cut up. Uh, and this is only half the order of the round bar. Uh, I need to get more of that to be able to complete this order of ladders. But yeah, this is just a pretty crude setup, man. Uh, but it really, speeds up productivity without you know like you don't have to measure so you just go cut put it in the box the box cut throw it in the box cut throw it in the box just keep moving um, originally I built this table for that saw right there but I burned that saw up uh, so I've got this new saw this new saw is not as good as that old one uh, and it, the base is a little bit different so i had to shim it up a little bit um but i made this thing so i can put different soles on it if i have to um, these are my stops which keep this saw from sliding over this way they're just clamped on there i didn't weld them specifically for you know being able to remove the saw clean out the chips um, you know, I knew that was an old saw when I bought it, so I knew it was probably going to have to get another one, which I did. Um, so these stops are just clamped on here. Um, you know, you could put a full piece of plate over here. Um, and then like some bolts or something, or like figure out a different way to clamp these things. Uh, like clamp your stop into place. but. Like I said, this is extremely crude, very cheaply built, and uh, but it works. It's just three inch channel, and then I got two, two one inch uh, square tubes uh, welded there. And then it gives me like a, an inch or so from there to there. Uh, because the base of my old saw was two and a quarter inches high. So two inches plus this quarter inch strip. Um, set this up exactly the same height as the base. Um, the whole width, the whole width of the table. So then pieces will just sit there. Uh, this is the in feed. This is the out feed. You know, them pieces will sit flush. And you clamp your stop on there. So when your piece slides forward, hits that stop. You're good to clamp this up, cut it. Um, I was making a whole bunch of stuff that was like 44 inches long at the time when I built this. So I didn't build it much past five foot this way. Uh, but you can put a whole 20, 24 foot bar length of steel all the way down that way with that extra saw horse there. yeah it's just stuff over like five like four and a half five foot uh you kind of have to measure it on this setup but yeah if you're starting out your own welding business build it you know you, you ain't got to steal my idea to build your own table uh with the same principle and uh it'll save you a lot of time and effort all right so now that you saw how fast I was able to cut up all them uh, round bars into little tiny pieces, I'll show you how long it takes 
to manually measure, line up and cut. Uh, just, I'm going I'm to make these flat bars. I got two cuts to make. So I was able to make, uh, I forget how many cuts it was per bar to the round bar. Now I'm just going to make two cuts on this flat bar. Uh, to just show you how long it takes when I got to measure it all out. So I'll go get a piece of bar here.
just make those two cuts uh, that he did to cut up that entire round bar. Uh, making, I don't know how many cuts it was, maybe like eight or nine, maybe ten. Uh, I pretty much cut up all 12 of those round bars, 144 foot, in about the time it takes me to cut uh, two, two or three complete lengths of uh, the flat bar. So that's how I have this all set up. Again, if you're cutting longer pieces like like these 93 inch uh, flat bars, if you're doing that like daily, then you're probably going to want to build a bigger table. Uh, you know, my building's not that big. If I cut like a 24 foot piece of steel, and I only have to make uh, one or two foot pieces, uh, if I bring that 24 foot piece of steel in here, you know, that puts me right about, uh, like I can't go that way anymore. So, if I'm only making one foot pieces, you know, that's, this all has to sit right here or further. Uh, so, if I go any further that way, then I can't close the door. So, this setup works for me, usually. Uh, there are occasionally some things I get that I have to cut, like these ladders that are longer, but probably 90 to 95 percent of the stuff I'm cutting is uh, four foot or less. So this setup works for me for now. Um, yeah, that's it's the time savings, man. Uh, you're starting your own business and you're working alone, or even working together. You gotta be efficient, so that's how I built this setup. So yeah, if you like it, it helps you out. Build your own, man. Uh, like I said, this is very crude, cheaply set up. You can get fancier if you want to. You can get cheaper if you want to. But try to build something, man. See ya.